Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see how we can use a one-sided Z transform or unilateral Z transform to solve a difference equation. So the difference equation is given as y of n is equal to 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus x of n. So this particular difference equation is called a recursive first order difference equation. Recursive because we have a shifted version of output also, and first order because the shifting is done by one unit only. That is why it is called a first order difference equation. So the question is: Use the one-sided Z transform or unilateral Z transform to determine y of n. So y of n is equal to one by two y of n minus one plus x of n, and the input is given as one by three to the power n u of n. The initial condition is given as y of minus one is equal to one. So let us write down the equation first. Y of n is equal to one by two y of n minus one plus x of n. In step number one, we will take Z transform, unilateral Z transform on both the sides. So Z transform of y of n is equal to Z transform of one by two y of n minus one plus x of n. Now it can be written as the Z transform of y of n is capital Y of Z is equal to one by two Z transform of y of n minus one plus x of Z. The Z transform of x of n will be x of Z. Now applying the one-sided Z transform. to this part y of n minus 1 according to the formula we can calculate the result and the result is z to the power minus 1 whole into y of z plus summation n is equal to 1 to k because k is equal to 1 y of minus 1 sorry y of minus n z to the power 1 which is z to the power minus 1 y of z plus y of minus 1 into z now once we will open this particular multiplication It will be z transform of y of n minus one is equal to y of z z inverse plus y of minus one. Now this y of minus one can be put as it is given in the initial condition. So y of minus one is equal to one. That we will put in the next line. So y of z is equal to one by two y of z into z inverse plus y of minus one plus one by one minus one by three z inverse. So this particular Z transform can be determined from this equation. The input, which is given as x of n is equal to one by three to the power n u of n, so one sided Z transform of one by three to the power n u of n will be one by one minus one by three Z inverse. So finally, I get y of Z is equal to one by two y of Z Z inverse plus one by two into y of minus one is equal to one into one plus one by one minus one by three Z inverse. Now we can take y in LHS and x in RHS. So it will be y of z into one minus one by two z inverse is equal to zero point five plus one by one minus one by three z inverse. So y of z will be equal to zero point five divided by one minus one by two z inverse plus one divided by one minus one by two z inverse into one minus one by three z inverse. So the response which we are getting for the initial condition is called natural response, and the response which we are getting due to the input, some additional input, then it is called force response. As we have supplied with an input x of n is equal to one by three to the power n u of n, so this part will be the force response. Now y of z is equal to zero point five by one minus one by two z inverse plus constant a by one minus one by two z inverse plus b by one minus one by three z inverse. So basically, I have applied. Partial fraction in this part, so it will be a by one minus one by two z inverse plus b by one minus one by three z inverse. Now let us solve for a and b. So a can be calculated as one minus one by two z inverse into one divided by this part, which is one by one minus one by two z inverse into one minus one by three z inverse. For z inverse is equal to two, this will be a is equal to three. Now let us solve for b. B can be calculated as one minus one by three z inverse into this part, which is one by one minus one by two z inverse, one minus one by three z inverse. So this is cancel out, and for z inverse is equal to three, B will be equal to minus two. Now let us put the value of A and B. It will be y of z is equal to zero point five one minus one by two z inverse plus three by one minus one by three z inverse minus two by one minus one by three z inverse. Which can further be written as y of z is equal to 
थ्री पॉइंट फाइव बाय वन माइनस वन बाय टू जेड इनवर्स माइनस टू बाय वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री जेड इनवर्स नो स्टेप थ्री इन स्टेप थ्री वे विल डिटरमाइन द इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द एब फंक्शन एंड इट विल बी वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इन टू वन बाय टू टू दी पावर एन यू ऑफ एन माइनस टू इन टू वन बाय थ्री टू दी पावर एन यू ऑफ एन विच कैन फाइनली बी रिटर्न एस वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इंटू वन बाय टू टू दी पावर एन माइनस टू इंटू वन बाय थ्री टू दावर एन होल इन टू यू ऑफ एन सो इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व फॉर एनी डिफरेंस इक्वेशन यूजिंग वन साइड जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म थैंक यू